bouncing audio in Fairlight, think of it like baking in all of your effects and edits. You're turning everything you've selected to bounce into a single continuous piece of media. Bouncing also lets you bake in processor intensive effects and intricate edits offloading that work. Instead of exporting externally, you're rendering directly inside your project. The media storage also can be specified in the project settings. Under working files, project media locations. There are two main ways to bounce audio in the timeline menu. Bounce selected tracks in place and bounce mix to track. Let's start with bounce selected tracks in place. This previously used to be called bounce selected tracks to new layer. Set the in and out points to define the range you want to bounce. Commander control click the track header or the mix strip for the tracks you want to include. Then choose timeline audio bounce selected track in place. The audio is processed and rendered into a new clip on each selected track. By default with layered audio editing off, it looks like only a clip, but your original audio is still there underneath. Turning on view, show audio track layers reveals the stack. When you bounce the audio, it creates a new media file saved in your project's clip location. Now let's go over the other way, bounce mix to track, choose timeline, audio, bounce mix to track. The bounce mix to track window appears showing you your available buses in the destination track column choose a new track or a specific existing track from the drop down for the mixes you want to bounce and then click OK the specific mix is processed mixed and bounced into a new audio piece into the chosen track again creating a new media file saved to your project's clip location one little bonus pro tip you can also bounce in effects on individual clips using the bounce audio effects command in the clips menu. This becomes extremely helpful when you're working with those processor heavy effects, only having to process that media and that effect a single time instead of the other way, which is processing the effect every time during playback. And again, if ever needed, the original is underneath. So I think that's everything for bouncing audio in Fairlight within DaVinci Resolve. I invite you to join the community for any DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, or Fairlight questions and give this video a like if you'd like to see more short videos like this one.